नमस्कार स्वागत है द न्यू लाइसियम फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर प्लेटफॉर्म पर दिस इज डॉक्टर जे के तिवारी एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर यू आर गोइंग टू हैव अ फ्यू आइडियाज दैट वर अपॉइंट बाय जॉर्ज एलियट द विक्टोरियन रियलिस्ट नॉवलिस्ट द एग्नोस्टिक नॉवलिस्ट एंड टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट हर एसे एंड द नेम ऑफ हर एसे इज What is the name? Silly novels by lady novelists. Silly novels by lady novelists by George Eliot. Right? Who are the silly novelists? And which type of novels are called are called silly novels? George Eliot uses biting sarcasm and harsh criticism to outline several categories or species of works. that she feels exude the frivolous and dramatic nature of women these are four species she discusses about the novels four species written by women they are such women who were highly educated they showed their knowledge of classical literature in their novels but their novels were not fruitful at all for women folks and that's why george eliot was very much critical right very much critical against such women novelists and she divided the fiction of novel the species of novels into four parts i will come to uh, these four species but before uh, i start the four species just you have a look on her as a novelist her real name was mary n evans her real name was mary n evans she was a victorian she was a radical she was an agnostic and in her novels she discussed the reality of the society what was happening in the society was the subject matter of george eliot's novel she advocated for equality she advocated for education for women and she was heavily influenced by the writings of john stuart mill j s mill jiska naam aapne suna hai who wrote the book which book the subjection of women and the essay liberty particularly with regards to its support of women's suffrage and rights suffrage means right to vote so he was one of the influencers one of the inspirators inspirers of george eliot and in several letters she advocated for equal education and professional opportunities and argued against the idea that women were somehow naturally inferior during the victorian england it was generally thought that women are inferior by birth and george eliot contradicted this idea and she advocated for women rights women suffer uh, women's right to vote women's education women's equality right you could say that george eliot while living in the victorian society the society that was governed by a woman society governed by a woman entire kingdom was governed by a woman queen victoria when george eliot was writing eliot focuses on such issues related to women in her novels in her critical writings and when she found that educated women of the society are not spreading the message that they were supposed to spread then she wrote the essay silly novelists all right holy war holy war ek unique war hai george eliot ke liye and this in fact it was a war against religion she in the beginning of her life she was a devout catholic but finally she rejected all religion and what did she say about religion i could not without wild hypocrisy and a miserable truckling to the smile of the world she wrote to her outraged father professed to join in worship which i wholly disapprove she stopped going to churches and once she stopped going to churches it was not a normal case for a woman or for any english man for any english woman her father was totally outraged and not her father only but her society was outraged right her society was against this decision but she said that i do not believe in any such a religion she proved herself she declared herself to be an agnostic and such views are openly reflected in her different various novels 
and then he came into contact of this man George Henry Lewis. She was living with George Henry Lewis. George Henry Lewis was a married man and uh, George Eliot was unmarried. They were supposedly in relationship and in his name Mary Annie Evans took the name George and then George se George Eliot ban gai. He had left a deep influence, right, positive as well as scandalous influence on George Eliot and that shaped her career, right. She was the member of a club known as Rose Hill Circle. It was a circle of liberals. It was a circle of liberals, freedom loving people and one of the members of the circle was Ralph Waldo. Emerson and Harriet Montenew, thanks to her friend Charles and Cara Bray. Cara Bray's home was situated at Rose Hill and that's why the group was called as Rose Hill Circles. This group of creative and thinkers espoused rather radical, often agnostic ideas. So the members of this group were also believed in radicalism, believed in agnosticism and the members of this group also shaped the life and career of George Eliot. Right? Her questioning of faith, she kept on questioning faith, led to a minor rift between her and father, that was obvious, it was right? who threatened her, to uh, throw her out of the house, but she quietly carried out superficial religious duties while continuing her education. Actually, she was not a big beauty in the Victorian age. So her father thought that education is a good place, good thing for her instead of marriage. So her father did not force her for marriage and she never married in her life and she never uh, deviated from the thought of agnosticism and from the thought of from thought against God and the Bible, superficial Bible. All right. Then she was the assistant editor of this journal, the Westminster Review. Initially, she was the assistant editor and later she became the de facto editor of the journal Westminster Review. And in this journal only, her article, her essay that we are going to discuss today was published, right? Silly Novels by Lady Novelists. Silly Novels by Lady Novelist, the essay was published in Westminster Review in 1856. And in this essay, she criticizes women of upper class, right? The majority of novels written by and for women objecting to their silliness and disregard to reality. She was writing during the Victorian England. Victorian England was the England of industrialization, was the England of workhouses, was the age of conflict between upper class and lower class, conflict between capitalist, bourgeois and proletariat and that was in fact the reality and almost all the Victorian novelists were realist novels but there were a few women writers who wrote for women. There were a few male writers as well who wrote for women. They wrote in very romantic style. They romanticized the entire country, entire women folk and George Eliot was against this propaganda. George Eliot thought that the real condition of women must be written in the novels either written by women or written for women. Right? You cannot always romanticize. Situation is totally different and you are writing in very totally different manner. This was the essay can be seen as a negative manifesto, an argument for what fiction should not do. What fiction should not do? In fact, you could say the entire essay was an advice for the women. Ki you should write what and you should write not what. Kya nahi likhna chahiye? Us par pura mamla tha. Silly novels undermine the cause of women's education. The heroines in these novels are usually highly educated, but their education only makes them self-satisfied and tedious. If you are educated, if you are living in Victorian society, if you have the chance to write something for women and you are not writing, it means you are cheating not only yourself, but you are cheating the entire society. This was the opinion of George Eliot 
in the essay silly novels by lady novelist she divided the fiction genre into four species and the first of the four was mind and millinery species mind and millinery species was the first species of uh, the novels and according to george eliot a silly novels pinned by women can be grouped based on shared characteristics the first and largest class of such novels eliot uh, george eliot dubs the mind and millinery speech millinery kya hota hai millinery is related to the heads of women right shop hoti hai heads of women isko kaha jata hai the species is a combination of millinery or women's hearts were of that were often criticized characterized as impractical and highly adorned aristocratic ladies were used to wear such high fi hats right and the mind or women's mind the first genre is related to the aristocratic ladies and their minds educated ladies and their fashions their favors their position in the society these novels present highly intelligent and upper class women in overly dramatic and often romantic way that was in fact impractical and the plots of these novels are always predictable and almost formulaic Uh, as uh, Eliot assesses, right? She says that the main female character, who is there, she is described as beautiful and usually an heiress, and assorted male characters are described as equally outlandish in personality and constantly vying for the heroine's attention and affection. George Eliot thinks the characterization of women in such novels is incredibly realistic, right? And not incredibly realistic. Eliot quotes from several novels, right? Like uh, a novel, Compensation, a story of real life, uh, thirty years ago, in which क्या होता है? एक छोटा सा बच्चा होता है चार साल का, and he uh, that child speaks with such poetic elegance that Eliot calls her infant phenomenon. एक दूसरे नावल का जिक्र करती हैं in Laura Gray. another novel in the category the protagonist laura gay jo hai she is able to quote latin rank and beauty another novel that is quoted by uh, miss george eliot and in that novel the novel of variety includes incredibly unreal circumstances a woman hoti hai miss windham she falls in love with lord rupert conway the prime minister or leader of the united kingdom based loosely on reading about him in the paper all of these negative attributes pale in comparison to the real tragedy of these novels their ridiculous philosophic reflections eliot ek bar fir laura gay par aake kehti hai refers to laura gay and its assertion that the soul of man and the polypus that is octopus are not of common origin to be utterly ridiculous since everyone clearly already know this this is merely an example of women turning assumed profound observations in opportunately long winded so this was the novel that comes under the category of mind and millinery where everything was prefixed an aristocratic lady right she falls in love with an aristocratic person and like indian romantic movies everything happens as pre planned nothing ha nothing i is disturb uh, nothing is disturbing there means they were writing novels but they were just romanticizing the condition of women and such novels are described as mind and millinery species by george eliot these novels are highly predictable and formulaic one everything was preset iske baad kya hoga iske baad kya ho sakta hai everything happens like an indian romantic film आपको शुरू से पता है कि लास्ट में हीरो और हीरोइन की शादी हो जाएगी और वो प्रेडिक्टेबल है वो जो फार्मूला है ऐसे फार्मूला हुआ करते थे माइनर मिलनरी स्पीशीज में जो सेकंड कैटेगरी की बात करती है जॉर्ज एलियट सेकंड कैटेगरी ऑफ नॉवेल्स उसको कहा जाता है ऑरेकुलर आई स्पीशीज ये नॉवेल्स है जो जिसका रेफरेंस उसने दिया है अपने इस ऐसे में कंपेंसेशन स्टोरी ऑफ रियल लाइफ थर्टी ईयर्स अगो लारा गे 
एंड रैंक एंड ब्यूटी सर्च कर लीजिएगा जाकर के कि किसकी नावल से किसका एग्जाम्पल दिया है सेकेंड कैटेगरी ऑफ ऑरकुलर स्पीशीज एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू जॉर्ज एलियट दीज टाइप ऑफ नावल्स आर इंटेंडेड टू एक्सपाउंड राइटर्स इज रिलीजियस फिलोसफिकल और मोरल थियोरीज रिलीजियस फिलोसफिकल एंड मोरल थियोरीज मेन कंटेंट होता है इन नावल्स का the novelists of this type of novels do not have the actual novel about the subject aur jis par wo likh rahi hoti hain in fact they are not aware of the topic they are not aware of the philosophies religions texts etc the, this is the irony and the irony is that the women who write such novels seem to lack actual knowledge of the subjects this results in the creation of oracular or difficult to understand literary work right difficult to understand literary work aise novels create karte hai oracular species unko kaha jata hai ki they write on such topics aise topics par jinke bare mein unhe khud hi bahut kuch nahi pata hai kya create hoga isse complexity create hogi and such novels will not be understood by common folk yahan par wo example deti hai ek novel ka jiska naam hai the enigma a leaf for the chronicles of the volcarly house as a prime example of this type of work the original direction of the novel she is straight forward enough seems straight forward enough it involves solving an enigma or hard to understand problem however the language of the author uses to describe every action and situation in the least straight forward way and these things are secure the overall plot and character development right oracular novels jo hua karti thi they end up like multiple isolated sketches with little connection in eliot's eyes like the mind and millinery fiction they also fail to capture any realistic situation or human interactions this reality causes eliot to question the purpose of women becoming educated when these stories are the product of that education why were they educated why they got education if they are of no use if they are writing such mysterious novels such oracular novels such hard to understandable novel why are they writing but they were writing such novels are put into the category of oracular fiction and the third category jo hai fiction ki third species jo hai that is white neck cloth species white neck cloth species silly novels of this variety are religious in nature and often takes place in church setting the setting of such white neck cloth species are in church frequently with a young clergyman in one of the leading roles these novels may involved crossed wires and missed connections as in the other types of silly novels but these romances are set in religious context so this was in fact a type of satire ki romance in the church romance in the church that is white neck cloth fictions the characters in such novels like the old grey church are somewhat out of place in high society since the real religious drama is more often played out among the middle and lower classes she notes that the characters in such novels kya hote hain they are somewhat out in high society since the real religious drama is played where more often in the middle class among the middle and lower classes despite this disconnect to the class the women in these novels suffer from the same affectations as the upper class heroines in the previous novel especially mind and the first species hai uski novel mein these novels contain nothing new or interesting in the opinion of george eliot but they are often enjoyed by women who seek out what they perceive to be good christian literature such novels are read only for the sake of reading for the upgradation of women right wo sochti hai ki wo आज है अपग्रेड हो रहा है उनका स्टेटस बट इन फैक्ट वो भी कुछ नहीं है एंड लास्ट एंड फोर्थ स्पीसीज ऑफ द नॉवल इज कॉल्ड मॉडर्न एंटीक स्पीसीज 
मॉडर्न एंटीक स्पीशीज जो है दिस इज द लीस्ट रीडेबल नॉवेल्स लीस्ट रीडेबल ऑफ द ऑल फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सिली नॉवेल्स इन एलियट्स ओपिनियन दीज नॉवेल्स अटेम्प्ट टू मेक एन इन्फ्यूजन इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ द मॉडर्न स्पिरिट इनटू द एंशिएंट फॉर्म हाउएवर दे फॉल शॉर्ट ऑफ दिस लॉफ्टी गोल सिंस दे ऑफर लिटिल दैट इज न्यू and simply cover their lack of quality in ancient names and locales ancient names and settings they seem to be composed of a legend kind of foolishness under which we groan ek example bhi deti hai george eliot adonisa a tale of the jewish dispersion is a prime example of that makes use of jewish high priest and greek philosophers to tell the feeblest kind of love story so these are the four kinds of four species of novels according to george eliot right in her essay the silly novels by ladies right wo kon kon se four categories hain last one is modern antique species that is the least readable third one is white neck cloth species that novel set in the church and one of the churchmen is the leading characters in the novel right second one is called oracular species oracular species women are writing on such topics which they themselves are not aware right the novelist of this type of novels do not have the actual and uh, now actual knowledge about the subjects they are philosophical and religious novels and first one is mind and millinery species you have to remember these four categories four species of novels according to george eliot yahi unki puri theory ha eliot concludes by discussing how to combat the continued perpetuation of silly novels penned by the female novelists she explains that such types of literature do match to inhibit the call for women's education since so many educated women writer are unable to used they are unable to write anything worth reading such women are often used to bring praised for their literary efforts but george eliot outrightly rejects this george eliot believes that genuine negative criticism of such works will help incompetent women abandon the pursuit of novel writing ideally these incompetent novelists could put in the time to study their craft and improve dramatically all right so these were the essence of george eliot george eliot compares the novelist and the novels they she compares the situation of the real women and the situation of the women in the novels and by comparing she thinks that such novels are of no use for women they should improve and for the improvement their criticism is mandatory the criticism is necessary and george eliot criticizes such women writers highly so they could improve and they could write they could speak for women they could speak in the voice of women eliot maintains that one of the main problems across all species of silly novels is the lack of realism realism nahi hai wahan par you they are the romanticization of the stories these novels do not reflect the experience of real people real women are seldom inundated with large nature of suitors large number of suitors fighting over their affections common life mein to aisa nahi hota but aisa novel ke life mein hota hai aur yahi gadbadi hai yahi issue hai yahi problem hai aur ishi ko dur kar lena chahiye these are both situations elliot references as happening in the silly novels right silly novels must be realistic what are the silly novels silly novels are those which does not which do not describe the reality of the society which romanticizes the society in the novels they are hypocritic novels they are far away from the real fiction and according to george eliot women writers should focus on the real condition of women women writings should focus on suffragette women writing should focus on the right of women women writing should focus on the equality on the education 
of women education for women these are the these must be the basis of a, a woman writer right so this was the, that was all about george eliot and george eliot's essay which essay george eliot's essay silly novels by lady novelists i hope aapko lecture pasand aaya hoga comment box mein zarur likhiyega aur ha pasand aaya ho to लाइक like करना और सब्सक्राइब करना नहीं भूलिएगा शेयर करिएगा अमंग योर फ्रेंड्स सो दे कुड आल्सो गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ द लेक्चर थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द बेस्ट गुड लक